Good evening, church. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts, where I tell you some thoughts I've been thinking on a Thursday. And you know, America is, is, is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and our history is, you know, far short of being, you know, perfectly good. Uh, but there is something about America that's striking me today that makes me uh, very, very happy and very proud and just generally glad. I was reading an article and the author referenced a town in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, where they have, um, they have separate fire departments that are run by different religious communities. Meaning if like there's a Muslim's house on fire, the Catholic fire department will not respond because they're Muslim. And if there's a Catholic house on fire, the Muslim fire department will not respond because they're Catholic. And this is a concept that is just frankly unbelievable to me. It's just inconceivable that people would be this way, that there'd be entire fire departments that would not respond because the victim's uh, religion is different from their own. And this, my, my reaction to this is making me happy because that, because that means the culture in America is such that that notion was fostered to be ridiculous to me, right? that I grew up in an environment where the message was given to me through all our institutions. I, I got this at home, at school, from church, from uh, books and TV and, and movies and from video games and from friends, just generally everything in America instilled in me this notion that it doesn't matter what your religion is, people need to be helped. Now, it instilled that without ever really saying that. But it's just the culture that we have that led me to feel like this notion is so ridiculous. I think we are at our best when we are helping others. I think America is at its best when we are we conceive of ourselves as a people who help one another. And we are, I think, particularly even at our best when we help those that we might have reason to have differences with or to be angry with. In fact, one of Jesus' most famous parables is one that details someone helping someone of another religion. It's the parable that gets, that gets commonly known as the Good Samaritan, where a Samaritan man helps out a Jewish man who has been attacked and left for dead by the side of the road. This, ex and this is important because Samaritans and Jews were basically kind of uh, not in an open, you know, like violent war, but they had a conflict on an ethnic level and on a religious level. And Jesus makes this scene of this uh, cross-ethnicity, cross-religion uh, aid, takes that story and makes it the definition of how to treat one another, of how to be a good neighbor. In 2009, a modern day scene that was partly inspired by that parable played out in Cordova, Tennessee, which is on the outskirts of Memphis. The pastor of, uh, let me, I got written down here, of Heartsong Church learned that a local Muslim mosque had purchased property right across the street from their building. This came during a time where Christian is uh, Christian and Muslim relations uh, in the U.S. were strained, to put it mildly. There were a lot of people who harbored hatred against all Muslims for the in, in response to the September 11th attacks in 2001. Just a couple of things that were going on at that point. Uh, when the Islamic Center in Murfreesboro Borough put up a sign advertising that they were building a new building, uh, someone immediately spray-painted, not welcome on it. Uh, the neighbors filed a lawsuit saying that Muslim isn't a religion and the, the Islamic Center was just a undercover terrorist training camp. And when construction began, someone set fire to several pieces of construction equipment that were working on the site. And in 2011, several legislators in the state of Tennessee introduced legislation that would call Islam, or practicing Islam, a sign of treason. But in Cordova, Heartsong Church gave the Muslim community a different sign. A sign that said, Heartsong Church welcomes Memphis Islamic Center to the neighborhood. This began a friendship between the two congregations that has lasted for years. Uh, the the, uh, the Heartsong Church even opened up their building 
to the Muslim congregation because uh, their building wasn't going to be wasn't going to be ready in time for Ramadan. So the church opened their doors to give them a place to pray. And some people called the pastor a heretic for letting this happen. And he said, I'm just doing what Jesus taught us to do, which is helping our, helping our neighbors. And these people are quite literally our neighbors. I'm very happy that America does not have the history of centuries and centuries of religious violence that Europe and many other places have. So we didn't, we don't have these deep baked in religious prejudices. And while we certainly do have religious prejudices, it is not so bad to the point where our fire departments are separated by what religion and we would gladly not help someone whose house is on fire. I am happy that a cornerstone of our national culture is that at, at heart, everyone is deserving of respect and of love and of dignity and of help in their times of need. And in many ways, this culturally makes it easier for us to do as Jesus commanded and love our neighbor. May God help us to always listen to the voice of Jesus Christ who tells us to love our neighbor. And may God help us to fight against the voices that tell us to do differently. Friends, if you found this beneficial, share it with your friends. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another. I'll see you next time.